Hi, this is Hank Will with Grit Magazine. We're here today at the Purina Animal Nutrition Center Backyard Coops to talk about raising healthy, happy chickens. With me is Dr. Gordon Ballum, Director of Lifestyle Technical Service with Purina Animal Nutrition. Gordon, a hot topic among folks who raise chickens is how to keep chickens healthy and reduce their risk from contracting parasites and other diseases. In your opinion, what is the best way to help reduce the risk of these kinds of disease? Hank, we take biosecurity, or is it sometimes referred to health and sanitation, very seriously. The main goals of biosecurity is to help reduce disease transmission and to help protect birds from becoming ill. The best way to practice biosecurity is regular sanitation. Right, it's really important to keep the coop and any equipment clean. In addition to regularly changing litter in my coop, I like to clean the feeder, waterers, and roosts weekly and to sanitize them by rinsing with a solution of one part bleach to nine parts water to at least try and kill harmful bacteria. I also allow the birds plenty of space and lots of fresh air. That's good, Hank. Damp litter creates conditions that are perfect for parasites, viruses, and bacteria to thrive. I also remind everyone to wash hands with soap and water before and after handling birds and eggs. Isn't there even some concern with carrying contaminants on shoes or clothing? Yes, we believe that in order to maintain an effective biosecurity program, it's important to minimize the amount of exposure to external sources of contaminants, both human and animal. This means reducing a flock's exposure to visitors who may own poultry. Avoid wildlife and domestic pets by keeping food in safe areas such as inside the coop or runs. Also, reduce contact with wild birds or their droppings by placing the wild bird feeders far away from the coop and by constructing a roof or cover over your run. And of course, as you said, always clean shoes or clothing before coming in contact with your flock. A great way to do this is to identify a pair of work boots that you only wear to and from the coop and runs. That way they don't get contaminated. What about adding birds to a flock from an external source? We enforce a strict 30-day quarantine of any new birds. It's a good idea that if you do get new birds, to keep them cooped in a different building far away from the main flock. And always care for the quarantine animals last when doing your chores to help keep from spreading disease. We've only briefly touched on a couple key aspects of biosecurity. For additional information on health, sanitation, and biosecurity, folks can go to the USDA website, www.usda.gov. Thanks for sharing your perspective on this important topic, Gordon. For more great tips on raising chickens, be sure to visit grit.com or purinamills.com forward slash chicken feed.